Hello, everybody. You are on another webcast with Don Clayton. It is the Changing Lives webcast. It's good to have you with us today. Thank you so much. Today, I have a very special guest, a FranServe certified franchise consultant from Bend, Oregon, Rich Mitoff. Rich, uh, tell us a little bit about how you got started in franchise consulting. Yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks for having me, Don. So I started many years ago working with franchises. I have a geography background. I used to sell and, and provide mapping services to franchisors. And um, that's when I decided a couple of years ago to jump into the consulting space. And my wife and I have been doing it ever since, helping people find businesses. And we've been loving every minute of it. Well, we love having you and your wife, Gail. We have a lot of husband-wife teams. And so uh, today, um, as the Chief Talent Officer at FranServe, my role is to make sure that we have the right personality join FranServe as certified franchise consultants. And I think you and Gail are just a perfect example of that. And today, we're going to talk about a quote that you posted on social media a few months ago. And you know, Rich, that quote really did, uh, it, it kind of got me thinking about some things and it started th making me think about, you know what, franchising has a lot of myths out there. There are a lot of myths when it comes to franchising. And here's your quote. This is directly from Rich Mitoff. And Rich, you said, as a franchise expert, I've witnessed a transformation trend. You said, franchises that not only offer robust training and support, but also help in scheduling jobs right from the opening day. This approach significantly reduces the initial stress of finding clients and jumpstart your business journey. And that made me think about, you know, a lot of times, Rich, people will look at investing in franchise and then they're thinking, well, I'm going to be by myself. I'm not going to have the help. I'm not going to have the support that I need. I'm going to be all by myself. But that quote you just said it just explains how franchising can offer people that support and help. Tell me, what type of franchise myths, Rich, as a certified franchise consultant with FranServe, have you had to debunk? Right. It's, you know, there's there's a bunch of them out there. I mean, I think probably, you know, one of the more common ones, it, ones is um, franchise fees and royalties are just a money grab, where, you know, I think... Uh, I heard it in the uh, at our convention this summer, and Jack Johnson said it best. He said, "You know, it's the best money you can spend. I mean, essentially, it's you're getting the support, you're getting training, you're getting you're getting guidance from the community of other franchise owners, and I think that is just a huge valuable way to to invest that money and to make sure that that comes back to you tenfold." I mean, that's great, Rich. You know, Jack Johnson is absolutely correct. The, the 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 happiest time of a franchisee's life is spent writing that royalty check because the amount of support that one receives, and every franchise is different, right, Rich? Some franchises offer different benefits and value and that when it comes to the, the royalty fees or certain things that they provide there, but every franchise has that support system. Let me ask you this. Wh why is it important uh, for candidates, people looking to start a franchise, open a franchise in their community. Why do you think it's important for uh, candidates to understand why franchising is a good idea as opposed to going by themselves? See, another myth to franchising is, oh, it's a money grab. You said it. Oh, it's a money grab. You pay this, this franchise fee and then you have to pay royalties. You have to follow their system and you can't be creative. And so therefore, it's better just to go by yourself. Why do you think it's good for people to, to really study and learn about franchising first before they decide to go down the street and open a business? I think there's a couple of different things. I mean, one, I mean, we've heard this before many times, you know, being in a franchise, you're in business for yourself, but not by yourself. So it's still your business. You have a lot of the control, a lot of the ability to, to make the difference in that, in your own specific business. And the other really is, um, I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> I had a well, couple in there. No, you're right, though. I mean, it's it's absolutely right, you know, when it comes to being in business for yourself and not by yourself. And you have right. 
as franchise consultants, Rich, as you know, we we have that training uh, that is designed to help people understand here are the major benefits of franchising. And there's a lot of things going on now, especially with the responsible franchising movement. And I'm sure you've got some examples of because you work with candidates every day. And so I'm sure you've got people that you worked with with from different backgrounds and different socioeconomic statuses that you've worked with uh, in the past and perhaps currently. Uh, can you think of a specific time or, or or just in general, what 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 role does a FranServe certified franchise consultant, what role do we play in helping people realize that these franchise myths that they may have heard uh, in their ear, why is it important for a consultant or what examples do you may have where you've had to debunk some of these myths and um, help people realize that, you know, that's not necessarily true. It may have been true in the 1980s, but it certainly isn't true today. I think it's education. I mean, yeah. it's, you know, it's really not our job to sell the franchise. I mean, our job really is to educate our clients, make sure that they're fully aware of how the discovery process works, where you know they're where we feel that they're they're really best served in in working with some of these these franchise brands. I mean, you can some we I have these conversations all the time. Somebody's interested in in brand X, and they're like, well, I mean, this you know you might not be financially you know capable of of investing in this brand. This really not might not be aligned with your strengths. We present other options to them. And then it's like, well, I had no idea this was even out there. Mm. And we, we see it all the time. I mean, somebody's interested in, in one brand, they pivot to another. And really that's, you know, the, the job of a franchise consultant is not to sell and push specific brands, but just find out what, you know, that person is going to be best at and what's going to set them up for the most success. That's a great point. I mean, that's an excellent point because you're right. I hear it too. I hear, well, brand L, Y, T, and S. Those four big brands that everybody's like, okay, that's what I want to go invest in, but they don't really understand what's involved in those brands. They did, they, they only have the surface, but then when they start to peel back the onion layer, and, and here's the thing, they don't get to peel back that onion layer unless they're working with a certified franchise consultant like you, Rich. Because you're the one that's been highly trained, certified, you're trained almost daily, there's continuing education that you have to take part in, there are annual conferences that you go to, there are other in-person events that you go to, there's a lot of things as a FranServe certified franchise consultant that you are updated, like I said, almost on a daily basis with this information that you can educate. You said it perfectly, we don't sell anything, we're just simply educators. That's a great way to put it, Rich. I love that. You're right. We, we are just educators and we educate the everyday average person about franchising. And then from a micro standpoint, we talk about the different brands that are offered out there. Most people don't even realize, I was t talking to someone yesterday about this. They don't realize that there are a lot of really cool, new, emerging, hot brands out there they've never even heard of before. And that's our job to help educate them about what's trending right now and what's hot and what's new. Right. Yeah, so, I agree 100%. Yeah, I mean, education is key. I mean, it's, you know, as soon as you start pushing someone into a corner, you know, because it's, you know, it might be financially beneficial to you. I mean, that's just when when the uh, the wheels fall off. Yeah, the wheels fall off. The wheels on the bus go round and round, but they only go round and round when everybody works together and they're fully educated on the opportunities that are available for them out there. Rich, thank you so much for being my special guest today from Oregon. I appreciate you, Rich and Gail Mitoff, uh, Certified Franchise Consultants here at FranServe. I'm Don Clayton. I'm the Chief Talent Officer. If you would like more information on how you can become a Certified Franchise Consultant and help others achieve their dreams of franchise ownership, you can reach me at connect at franserve.com. Again, that's connect at franserve.com. If you'd like to speak with Rich, you can also send an email to connect at franserve.com. We'll make sure Rich gets that. But again, Rich, thanks so much for being with me today. Listen, you enjoy yourself up there in the Northwest. And folks, we'll catch you next time on the Changing Lives webcast.